Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this textured chevron stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fairly easy stitch to work and uh, the texture is there on both sides. You often see this stitch pattern used in blankets and uh, occasionally garments as well. For our stitch today, I'm going to be working with a worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. Both of these items, links to them, can be found in the description of the video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around and subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our textured chevron stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making our slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 14 stitches plus 1. Today I'm going to chain a total of 29 stitches. and 29. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet two together over the next two stitches beginning in the second chain from your hook. So the, skipping that first chain from your hook and into the second chain from your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, then insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop, You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your single crochet two together. You're then going to single crochet into each of the next five stitches. chain two. This is the start of the repeat in the pattern and you're then going to single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into each of the next six stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, starting with your chain two, single crochet in each of the next six stitches, skip two, single crochet in each of the next six stitches, all the way across until you have seven stitches remaining. When you have seven stitches remaining, you're going to chain two, single crochet in each of the next five stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together over the final two stitches. That brings you to the end of your row one. For row two and every row hereafter, so this is going to be your repeat row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work in the back loops only of each stitch all the way across. To find the back loop only, if you look at the top of your stitch, you have the loop that is closest to you and one that's furthest away up at the top. That loop that's the furthest away from you is your back loop only. 
So you're going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. Your chain one does not count as a stitch and you're working in the back loop only. You're then going to single crochet working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Next into your chain two space you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. That is the start of your repeat for the pattern for the row. Next you're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches, still working in your back loop only. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, beginning with the single crochet, chain two, single crochet in your chain two space. Continue to repeat that all the way across until you come to your final chain two space. When you come to your final chain two space, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that chain two space, then single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And single crochet two together over your final two stitches. Chain one, turn your work and that's all there is to working this textured chevron stitch. So from here on end you're going to turn your work, simply repeat your row two for as long as you would like, fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the textured chevron stitch. Once again don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.